So having completed the operating budget with all the sub budgets, yes or no? Which were the sub budgets? What are we talking about? The sales budget, the production budget, the material budget, labor budget, selling distribution budget, and so forth. All those comprise the operating budget. Now we will do the financial budget. What does the financial budget consist of? The financial budget consists of two budget students. What are they? That's right. One is the cash budget. What's the other one? Cash budget and the capital budget and the capital budget. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> let us take, let us briefly understand what the capital budget is, cash budget, and we'll follow up, follow it up with some exercises on the cash budget. <clears throat> Capital budget is a long-term budget covering several years. <clears throat> yes or no? It involves what? The expenditure for property, building, machinery. We are not talking of the day-to-day -day operations here. We are talking of maybe capital assets. Advanced planning helps to ascertain the finance requirements. If I know what project I will be investing in, how much money I have to put over a period of the next five years, eight years, yes or no, the finance requirements I can plan for, budget for, arrange for the finance. Correct? Of course, you must understand once there is a project, once there is a project, there will be cash flows in the project. What, what are the cash flows in the project now? Maybe a small a, a kind of a, a sub-project. Uh, uh, my, maybe my machinery is being, let's say, hired out. So I get some income from that. There are cash flows. These are cash inflows. Yes or no? Maybe I've invested money in a project and after three years, some money starts to come in. So there are inflows. There may be outflows. Yes or no? The, the outflows and inflows for the current year, the year for which I am preparing the annual budget, that has to be incorporated in that year's annual budget. So capital budget is a long-term budget involving, involving expenditure on capital assets. We make this budget so that finance requirements for the future can be uh, planned, can be known and can be arranged for. It's incorporated into the annual budget. Additions to property, plant, etc. are reflected in the budgeted balance sheet. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is clear students, budgeted balance sheet. Whenever there is additions, all the some some parts of this will ultimately go to the balance sheet. Some part of the project, machinery is completed, machinery is, is in capital work in progress, yes or no? Those things may find their place in the budgeted balance sheet. <clears throat> what about the cash budget? Cash budget is the last budget to be prepared after getting inputs from all other budgets. We get the sales income, we get the expenses for the material, we get exp for material, for labor, for overheads, for selling distribution, etc. We, <coughs> we also get the cash inflows and outflows from the capital budget and then we can make the cash budget. Cash inflows, cash outflows during a period and the closing cash balance is reflected in the balance sheet. This also helps us to ascertain the cash requirements early so that we can arrange for financing if required, whether long term or short term. When we make a budget for over the over the next six months, over the next nine months, etc., we may we may come in a, come to a situation where we see that in a particular two months, a particular month, etc., there is a shortfall of cash. It may be because the customers we feel that around uh, that period do not pay up as compared to <clears throat> do not pay up whereas my creditors have to be paid up immediately some loan repayment is there in a particular month as a result of which maybe there is a shortfall there could be many such situations and when we plan think about it in budget that's when we become aware and therefore we can arrange say we arrange for a overdraft we speak to our bankers and tell them that we would need an overdraft facility for a month or two and advance planning can be uh, can be done <coughs> Made. We, we can make necessary arrangements for cash in advance. So cash budget is a plan to ensure liquidity, excess cash balance 
may be invested as per company policy just like you have shortfall on the other side you could you could end up having having uh, excess cash balance if you have extra cash balance it may go into the business again it may go to some other investments which will give you some return <clears throat> so both excess cash balance and excess cash and cash deficiency have to be taken care of and accordingly uh, accordingly uh, the, the cash budget the cash budget helps us to know whether there is excess cash or cash deficiency and accordingly we make uh, we make our arrangements <clears throat> we may take overdraft and sell investments to raise cash or we may put money in some temporary investments whenever we have excess cash Remember, cash budget will also involve all kinds of loan repayments, interest payments, etc. <clears throat> Capital budget receipts and payments would also be considered. <clears throat> Borrowings, investments, overdrafts, etc. would then be reflected in the balance sheet. Finally, in the balance sheet, just like we said in the capital budget, you will have whatever assets are being purchased being reflected in the balance sheet. Similarly, the closing cash balance is also reflected in the balance sheet. If we have taken borrowings, if we have purchased investments, uh, there are overdraft facilities taken, etc. All these would also be reflected in the, in the budgeted balance sheet, in the budgeted balance sheet. Yes or no? So that's about the financial budget consisting of the cash budget and the capital budget. 